get in my belly! Come on! We're gonna use a little bit of uh, olive oil. About a tablespoon. And we'll just roll that around. Try and coat the pan nicely. Now we're gonna go in with our about a medium onion right now. And we wanna saute these, probably take about two to four minutes, but we don't wanna put any color on them. Just a quick mix to coat our onions evenly. Okay, now it's time we're gonna go in with our rice. We have our arboreal, we got some unico rice, super fino arboreal rice. So right now we're gonna dump it in. The reason we're putting it in without any liquid is because we want to kind of coat it up with a little bit of oil in there right now. What this is going to do is going to help toast. It's going to help toast the rice. So we're going to do this probably about three or four minutes. Just give it a good mix. And it's going to toast the rice and when the, it will it will allow it to, it'll, it'll separate a lot better. So our first little liquid, we're probably going to use about one cup to start out with. Here, this is about 125 mils, so we're about half a cup. We'll probably need about three of these because it's kind of hard to uh, fill up under the circumstances. Give it a quick little stir, get things going. Looks like we're gonna need a little bit more liquid. I think we should go with another cup. You know what, we sometimes don't have time for cups at a time, so I think what we're gonna do is just, we're gonna add about a cup here. Yeah, there you go, that's about a cup. Much faster, not as scientific, but effective. So we've got a lot of action going on in the pan right now. Let's say we're gonna get even more liquid than that. Sometimes that first bit of liquid in the risotto uses a little more than usual. So let's go with another cup. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. But I see it sucked all the water up already, so. Okay, we're not gonna fool around anymore. We're gonna go for two cups. That's about one. That's about two. The whole point of when you're making risotto, this method is you're supposed to add your liquid gradually over time. So once your liquid evaporates, you need to add a couple more ladles. Since we just got going, we need to get a bit more to start with. But right now, see that? I think we're perfect. We got a little bit of bubbling going on. We don't have too much liquid as you can see. So we're gonna let this go for about a minute. I think in about a minute, we're gonna add another cup. Don't forget to stir your risotto. That's what gives it its creaminess. Sometimes you can use a pan to give it a stir, but we are just gonna use 
spatula. Okay, it's been a few minutes now, so we're just gonna add a little bit more water. Here we go, we got about a cup, maybe a cup and a half in there. Very nice. God, it was just screaming for a little bit of moisture. Just move it all around. Risotto should take about 20 minutes to cook. It should not take any longer from start to finish. Right now we are just making the base. This should take about 16 minutes because we want to cook this to about 80-85%. And when I mean that, I mean our rice will have a little bit of a bite left in it still. Okay, now we're at about the 15 minute mark, maybe 16 minute. Most of our liquid is gone. Look at that, beautiful right now. I just had a taste of it. And you can see, you can see that the rice is still falling apart. That's why we sauteed the rice a little bit. So it would not clump up and stick together. But right now, we're, uh, we, what we want to do now is just take this off the heat. Because we are going to make three different risottos for you. So we have to split this up into three separate piles. So we're at about the 15 to 16 minute mark and there's still just a little bit of a bite on the green of rice. And that's exactly what we want. Okay, so now we're at about 18, 17, 18 minute mark. And like I said, it takes about 20 minutes. You never always, you never want to time it, but it's a very good guide. Um, we would always taste taste, 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 and I just tasted it, and our rice is just about there. So this is very crucial. We need a little bit more water, just a little bit, right? Because we need, you know, maybe you know, two minutes of cooking. But we don't want to use a lot of water, because eventually, it, when it does uh, sink in, it will make it mushy. So right now, I'm putting 50 mils, 60 mils. It's about a quarter of a cup. Okay. And I think that should take us right to the end. As you see the heat, you see the action of the water jumping around, that's going to dissolve. And our risotto is hot again. It is piping hot. It's like molten right now. You get that on your skin, yeah, you are going to feel it. Feel that beautiful, beautiful. See the liquid? It's already evaporating. It's being absorbed. Finishing off. So right now, this is our finishing touch on the risotto. We are going to go green peppers in. Get every last one. We don't want to waste any food. We're going to go tomatoes. Beautiful, colorful. Look at that. A little bit of Christmas in the kitchen. Finally, beautiful prawns. These are 25 to 29s. 25 to 29s. That means, like on the pack, on the package, you'll say 25 to 29. That means that are 25 to 29 pieces per pound, per 454 grams. That's what the numbers mean. Sometimes they'll say 19 to 25. That means there's 19 to 25 pieces, and they'll be a little bit bigger. If you ever see like 70 to 90, that's 70 to 90 per pound, so they'll be pretty tiny. So these ones are nice. We cooked them off, yeah, to about 80% as well. So we're just going to finish them off in the risotto. Look at that, beautiful. So now we can turn our heat down. Right now we just want a lower, lower heat. And we're going to mix everything together. And all those flavors are going to blend. And look at that, our liquid is gone. We're nice and creamy right now. little bit of butter in there because butter makes everything better we don't want too much but just a little bit 
It'll add that extra little sheen to the dish. It'll definitely give it a next level of flavor. Look at that, beautiful. So risotto is always very simple. A couple of veg and a prawn in there. A little bit of flavor. You can't go wrong. So there you go, that's a prawn with tomato and green pepper risotto.